Hello, my name is Shelley Staples and I'm an Associate Professor of English at University of Arizona and a primary investigator for the Corpus and Repository of Writing, Crow, and Multilingual Corpus of Assignments, Writing and Speech, Macaws. Thank you for expressing interest in getting access to your offline corpora. Before we grant you access, we'd like to familiarize you with the process of handling the data and downloading it. This process applies to the Crow Corpus and any corpora based on the Crow system, such as Macaws. Before I go through the nuts and bolts of this process, I would like to first introduce some of the folks that have been integral to the creation of these two corpora. Um, so here you have on your screen, uh, primary investigators for the Corpus and Repository of Writing, including Dr. Bradley Dilger at Purdue University and Dr. Randy Ruppin at Northern Arizona University. Um, we also have for Macaws, uh, primary investigators, Dr. Adriana Picaral, Dr. Alexei Novikov, and Dr. Bruna, Bruna Summer Farias. We have a very large research team for Crow, and so I do invite you to look um, in more detail at our blog, writecrow.org, to see all the members that have contributed to the creation of the corpus and um, the ongoing work that we're doing um, to grow the corpus. We also have uh, other members of our Macaws team listed on our website. And both of these websites can be accessed from the corpora that you're going to be working with. So this is just an overview of the topics I'm going to cover. Um, treating the data securely, not redistributing the data, limiting the amount that you're sharing, citing the corpus, um, use of the corpus is for non-commercial purposes, and then how to report issues. So first of all, uh, we want you to remember that this data belongs to students who consented to share it with us. Um, thus, we request you treat the data ethically in several ways. So first, we require that you treat the data securely. When you download the corpus, please make sure to store it on a secure server, which is password protected. You may have such a server at your institution, or your institution may provide secure access to a cloud server like Box. Please only make temporary copies on your local computer. So if you download the data and it goes into your downloads folder, please delete that from your downloads folder after moving the data to the secure server. Please also do not make any copies to portable storage devices such as flash drives. Second, we ask that you do not redistribute the data. You should not make the data available on a website for other people to download or to redistribute it to third parties in any way. If you're working on a project that involves the use of the corpus as a team, each team member needs to complete this training and create an account with Crow or Macaws to gain access to the offline corpus. Third, when using Crow data for publishing, you are limited to printing excerpts of 40 words of running text. This applies for both research and pedagogical materials development for personal use, for example, within uh, a um, learning management system that's provided as part of your university. However, such material cannot be used as part of commercial textbooks or educational resources that are published in print or online. If you're interested in created, creating open educational resource materials using the corpus, please contact us. When publishing research, please use appropriate citations as noted in the README file included with the corpus. We also request that you share any news of publication with us. Fifth, this data is for non-commercial uses only. This means that you cannot use this data to publish any materials for profit, such as commercial textbooks or applications. Finally, although we have rigorous processes in place for all the stages of corpus development, we acknowledge that this does not preclude us from the possibility of error. For example, you may notice 
names that have slipped through our de-identification processes. When you're working with the corpus and encounter any issues, we would like you to report them to us immediately. You can report issues at the appropriate um, link based on the corpus you're using. So next steps. Um, first, if you haven't already, uh, you'll need to create an account at crow.corporateproject.org or macaws.corporateproject.org. Um, you need to sign our user agreement. And if, again, you, you will need to take um, a quiz uh, that is in Qualtrics um, that this video is linked to as well. So depending on how you came to this video, you may be already in that Qualtrics um, form. Uh, once you successfully complete um, the quiz, then you will be able to download um, the corpus from the uh, Crow or Wright or Macaws websites um, that house the corpora. And you'll get a link, a direct link for that. Uh, and it will come to you in a zip file. Just one word of note for the crow corpus. Uh, it's, it's a large corpus, but we've actually curated a portion of the online corpus for use for research um, that is representative of the first year writing domain. So if you're ready to accept our terms and conditions, please complete the survey uh, that can be found at writecrow.org offline. The, the quiz will verify your understanding of the terms and conditions for using our corpus offline. Once you've answered all the questions correctly, you will receive the link to download the corpus. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you have any questions, please contact us at collaborate at rightcrow.org.